all these brands that I have just mentioned, hopefully can send me an email and thank me for highlighting them in here. None of them, by the way, are sending me a paycheck, if you must know. But I would appreciate if they can send me an email saying, we appreciate the email and all the recommendation that came from you, Jay. is going to be a very very interesting video as you guys know I have owned a ton of different brands throughout my journey it's documented here on my YouTube channel but today you will hear it from the horse's mouth from me which brands in my opinion have been the brands that have the best customer service and treat their customers right welcome back everybody this is a juicy video so I am going to ask you please subscribe hit the like button okay continue to support me if you want me to keep putting out content like this one today it's first time I'm going to talk about this it is very important that I see your support and you subscribing to my channel, okay? I wanna see more subscribers, okay? And this is going to make me want to do more video like this. So let's see how much you like it. Okay, so there has been a video circulating online about a loudspeaker brand that will go nameless because I don't know the full story and I don't have an opinion, okay, about what's going on. Long story short, it has to do with a dissatisfied customer. Someone that simply received a pair of loudspeakers and they were not up to his expectations. Okay, let's leave it at that. I'm gonna make it short and sweet. Very dissatisfied customer led to a very very interesting situation between the customer the dealer and the loudspeaker brand okay again search it online you'll find it i am sure but i am not going to talk about that specifically i'm giving you what was said on the video i have reached out to this loudspeaker manufacturer to see if they want to come on my channel and give their side of the story anyway today though i want to use this opportunity to talk to you all about brands that I am 100% recommending to you all. And I mean from a customer perspective, customer service that is, okay? Brands that have been extremely, extremely good to me before I even became a YouTuber. I know, I know some of you guys are gonna say, well, Jay, the treatment you get is not the treatment we'll get because you have a platform so you can put them on blast and hurt their sales. So you're always gonna get the white glove service. Not true. Again, I have dealt with them before I even became a YouTuber. So I understand I have a little more weight than some of you guys out there that don't have a platform. I understand it, okay? But let me tell you, okay, what these brands are so that if you are planning to buy any of these brands that I'm about to highlight, Okay, you can do it without having to be concerned about the treatment you'll get after you make the purchase. And the first brand is, no surprise, Boulder. Boulder has been amazing with me. Right now, I have a situation with my 3050s, okay, which is why I'm going to highlight them. If you want to know what that is, please, you know what to do. I don't want to keep pumping up my own website but i have to visit my website there is many videos about this okay um, and eventually i'll talk about it here on youtube okay so let me get back to boulder boulder has been attentive of me um i used to have a 2060 way before i became a youtuber older amplifier built in 1999 and boulder took care of me i believe i had an issue with some humming noise 
um, and it turned out to be my cable box. So Boulder is always responsive. Uh, they're there to help you. Their products are bulletproof and their customer service is amazing, okay? If you're contemplating to buy a Boulder product, I am telling you, do not be concerned with service or in the event that you have an issue, you have to ship it overseas. No concern with Boulder, okay? They're there to help you out. And quite frankly, I, I don't wanna speak for them, but I feel like they don't even charge you to repair units oftentimes. Oftentimes they just don't even bother to take your money. They fix it and ship it back to you. Now, again, don't quote me on this, but I can tell you that they nine times out of 10 Boulder will do what's right and take care of an issue that should have never happened. Next brand, a brand that I have owned and I currently have here. No, it's not Wilson, it's Pass Labs. Amazing customer service. I still believe Pass Labs has the industry's best customer service by far, okay? Pass Labs is responsive. They always pick up the phone. They call you back. If you have any sort of failure, they're there to answer your questions. They, they, they are there to troubleshoot with you. They are there to take care of you. I remember about five years back, before my YouTube, YouTube channel started, I had an issue with a 350.8 stereo amplifier, 350.5 actually, not 0 .8, 0 .5, 350.5 stereo amplifier. And I connected with them, we talked about, you know, what the issue could be. I don't remember off the top of my head what the problem was. They told me, and I remember this, they said to me, no, that shouldn't be happening, uh, send it to us. We'll fix it at no charge to you and ship it back to you for free. And that's exactly what happened. I also know stories from different dealers, okay, who told me out of their mouths if every audio brand could be like Pass Labs and the way they treat our customers, we would have nothing but an amazing industry and amazing customer experience, okay? Um, there was a dealer who told me that they had a problem with a preamp of some sort, right? I think it was the light on the preamplifier that wasn't really lit up blue, like solid blue. It was a little dim. And Pass Labs just said, you know what? We'll just send you a brand new preamplifier and send that back to us whenever you get around to it. I mean, who does that? Who does that? That is crazy. If I was, if I had a full blown operation, a store, that's the type of company I want to do business with. No questions asked. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we'll take care of it. Give us the address. We'll send them a new replacement piece. And then, you know, whenever you get around to it and you have a moment, ship back the one that he's got. Amazing. Once again, Pass Labs, I'm here to tell you, you are the freaking Bible when it comes to customer service, okay? Next brand that I want to highlight is Magical Loudspeakers. You guys have seen them at least five times on my channel. Okay, yes, I know, I'll raise my hand. I made a comment a long time ago about the brand leaving you hanging with the speakers at the loading dock after they're repaired and, you know, and yada, yada, and how you're supposed to coordinate logistics. And guys, if you saw my factory tour, you guys would know, you, I addressed that, all that narrative was false. I had it wrong and I'm here to be honest and raise my hand and say, I was wrong about that. That is not how they handle business. That aside, okay, I know for a fact, okay, for a fact that Magical is extremely meticulous when it comes to building their loudspeakers, their paint jobs, um, their drivers, you name it. They are absolutely, I can't think of another word other than anal when it comes to building speakers, okay? They really, really run a tight ship. I saw it firsthand, guys. I saw it with my own eyes, okay? Um, I know of a couple of situations that they had with a couple of speakers from who are owned, by the way, by people who I text with on a daily basis, and Magical took care of everything. Situations that should have never happened, which they acknowledged, and they said, tell us how we can make it right, and we will make it right. None of this should have happened. We had a couple of situations with 
other vendors way back when. We are aware of those, but we're here to help you. Again, this is what is expected when you're spending this kind of money. You're expecting for the customer service experience to be this insane at this level, okay? That is what's expected, okay? If a brand really believes in what they build, this is how you should be treating customers. Now, I'm sorry to say that that's not the case for every brand out there, okay? If you wanna know what those brands are, sorry, see my website, jaysaudiolab.com, where I can talk at length about what brands might be questionable when it comes to this customer service experience, okay? But anyhow, magical, amazing things as always. You guys are doing incredible things. You know, I commend you for the finish, the construction of your speakers. Um, I love, you know, everything that the company is about, okay? And their customer service, guys, is amazing. I'm telling you now. Another brand is Taiko or Taiko, okay? Um, which is a music server manufacturer, okay? They're now doing network switches and other things. I mean, Emil is amazing when it comes to taking care of customers. When I had the Taiko Extreme music server, which by the way, you might see again, um, I gotta be honest with you, I mean, he was there. He was there to help with the setup. He was there logging into my computer. He was there to answer questions. He was answering questions through WhatsApp. He is like almost in here, although he lives far away. I believe he lives in the Netherlands, I think it is. So this is like the best white glove service that I remember ever receiving, okay? The Taiko was amazing with me. Emil and his team were incredible with me. I can't say anything bad about the experience with them, okay? I don't have the Taiko at the moment because you guys know I need to rotate gear. You guys get bored on me. You fall asleep behind the wheel with me. I gotta keep you guys entertained. So that's the reason why I sold the Taiko Extreme because another brand, which is a brand that I represent, Strum Tank, absolutely recommended by me. When I took on the line, okay, I did my homework. I wanted to find out how does Strom Tank address issues, problems? Do we have to ship the stuff back to Germany, get it repaired, and then sent back to the United States? What is it that they do? None of that works that way. It turns out that if you have an issue with any Strom Tank, okay, they mail you a, it looks like a, uh, computer that you plug into the back of the unit and the Strom Tank team from Germany can remote into the device and diagnose any issues they may have and they basically troubleshoot the problems from far away. And if it's basically said that your unit cannot be fixed, I've seen it twice already with two customers of mine. They replaced the unit completely. Okay, this is a brand that's in Germany, guys. In Germany. They replaced the Strom Tank completely. This is why, and one of the many reasons why I stand behind Strom Tank, and I will continue to support the brand going forward. If you want a Strom Tank unit, contact me. You're not gonna have an issue. And plus, let's keep it real. <laughs> I'm on social media, okay? I'm not going anywhere. You guys are gonna get to text me and troubleshoot through me. I have a direct connection with the distributor and he emails right away the Strom Tank people, and so you get answers with me, okay? You're not left hanging. Another brand, of course, this is another brand that I have, but I don't sell it, and that is MSB, okay? Amazing, I can't complain about MSB. I have had two issues with the unit, one being the Pro USB module, okay, that went, went bad on me maybe about six months after ownership, after owning it, and, uh, Place the call, I had one like two days later. Problem solved. Now that can't happen because, full transparency, I change a lot of cables. I plug and unplug equipment all day long, guys. So in my hands, maybe there is more room for that type of failure to occur because I'm tinkering constantly. But I am sure that if you guys had an MSB and you had a problem, it wouldn't be as often as maybe as often as I have one, okay? Because I'm just a heavy user of anything I have in here, okay? But having owned the reference uh, MSB and now the Select 2, anytime I had a question, 
I mean, they even sent me a device to measure the interference of my outlets to see what would be the better outlet to utilize on my MSB. It turns out that soon after that, I became a Strom Tank dealer, so I don't need any help anymore with outlets because I don't want to deal with outlets anymore. I just use my Strom Tank and the problem is solved. This brings me to the end of this video, which is some of the issues that I've seen that have happened to me as well with brands that will go nameless here, okay? If you want to know what those are, again, see my website, jaysaudiolab.com, become, become a member. I'm going, to I'm going to give you different examples. I recently purchased something um, that's in my room, okay? And uh, it's non-audio related. Great and not so great customer experience. The expectation is for the dealer to set up such product. Again, this is not an audio product, okay? It's a video product. Um, and dealers are trained when it comes to the setup procedure on this device. I'm not happy. It is over $10,000, the device. Um, I bought it from a legit dealer and the brand is essentially saying, uh, we'll kind of help you tinker with it, but it should be your dealer the person that is supposed to help you with this because they were trained on how to do this. Well, if I'm not happy with how the dealer handled it or tweaked it or whatever it is, and I feel like it's still not up to my expectations, considering everything that's being said online about this device, why can't I go to the brand and tell them, listen, I don't like how they're doing it. No offense to the dealer. I just feel like there's more that can be done here and I need your help. They've tried to help me, yes, but I still feel like there's always that pushback of, if you need anything else, see your dealer, see your dealer. I got a problem with that type of mentality, okay? Maybe you didn't train your dealers right. Maybe your dealers need more training. Maybe your training as a brand sucks and you really need to revamp the way you're training your dealership network. Have you ever thought of that? All these brands that I have just mentioned, hopefully, can send me an email and thank me for highlighting them in here. None of them, by the way, are sending me a paycheck, if you must know. But I would appreciate if they can send me an email saying, we appreciate the email and all the recommendation that came from you, Jay. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoy this type of content. And if you want me to talk about these types of issues, you need to subscribe right now like the video give me your comments let me know your experience with any other brand that you have what kind of experience have you had have they treated you fairly do you feel that they're not giving you the attention you deserve do you feel like you've been let down and perhaps sold a product because you couldn't get somebody to help you out you couldn't get the dealer to give you the right guidance and the brand was kind of just pushing your way, not wanting to do with you because they feel the dealer should be the person in charge to help you with this. Let me know now. Thank you again for your support and your constant, constant feedback. I take this very seriously and I'm trying to improve my content as time moves on. Until next time, peace.